So the world has changed a lot. People are running businesses on the side of the road. They're running businesses online. Like we, we're running it out of our vans here. But we're going to meet a guy that started a business online with Manuka and Kanuka. And it's, it's oil for beard. And you probably know it from the honey. So he wants to show us what it really is about. Let's go see Callum. It's not this one, is it? No, that's flax. <laughs> flax. As you can see in its stunning white flower. Now, this plant is something different. It's native to New Zealand and it's I'm, I'm allowed to do that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Smell it, taste in some it. Countries you can chew on it. To. It might not taste nice. But these bushes are wild in New Zealand. So they, are, they, yeah. they grow everywhere. But I see lamb and cows. And what, what happened to the bushes? Yeah, so when the early settlers came, they chopped all the forest down. When that happened, the Manuka and Kanuka kept growing back. It, it's almost too good to be true, because you've got stuff that's, that's as good as gold, and the rest of the world wants it. Yeah. Th you guys are lucky. And that's only just touching the tip of the iceberg for it. You guys have got great coffee here? Absolutely. We're going to yeah. go to George Cafe, um, yeah. our favourite little local. And, and, and we're not going to put any, any Kanuka or Manuka in it, are we? No, we've got no. Manuka too. But the honey. Definitely the honey. Come with, <laughs> come with us. these things you just showed us it, it grows on the side of the road yeah absolutely so what are people making with it well everyone knows the honey right the honey's big you can take the leaves and you can distill the essential oil from the leaves and make all different kinds of things with the oils from uh, balms to mosquito repellents to you know skin creams face creams hand creams shampoos soaps everything you said so far is the honey I buy but there is all girly stuff mate yeah so <laughs> well girly stuff you say we do have a bed oil, fresh and fruity aromatic bed oil. Uh, us men, we're walking around, touching table surfaces. Our hands get quite dirty and unhygienic. Then we touch our bed, we think, what's going on? Our bed becomes quite dirty. Uh, that'll help to keep it clean and hygienic. It's all great into one little bottle. The question though is, is my wife gonna like it? Is the girls gonna like wow. it? Wow, shall we try? <laughs> That's going to be the test, is if, if the ladies is going yeah. to appreciate it. But you've got some other things here as well. You've got some balms and so and so forth. So, Manuka soap. I want to talk about the business side of the things, because the products we can go on every day. We're going to take some of it away. We're going to give it a try. The uh, question about starting a business, trying to sell Manuka to the Kiwis, do they get it? Yeah, well, ultimately, in the long run, we want to be mainly export market. Um, and th th that's where the opportunity is at. So there's sort of two sides to the business. We've got the online side and then the product development distribution. Most local producers are great at making crafts and they love what they're doing, but online marketing can get quite complex. We want to help them with that. Then on the other side, we want to encourage people that own land to plant manuka. That involves getting volumes. So with the products that we're developing, the beard oil and a range of other stuff that's about to be launched, we are going down the distributor path for that. So we're looking for retail stockists and looking to get the really retail presence on that. At the moment, we make it all um, in sort of a sterile and home environment in, a, in our barn. But as soon as we can, it's going to be going into contract production because there's no way we can keep up with, you know, if it was in the UK or Canada, for example. For sure, you're not going to keep up. You need to get more kiwis to plant, Monaco and Kanuku. Absolutely. Or just get out of the way, I think, because it grows all by itself if you, if you leave yeah. the world alone. And this yeah. stuff grows everywhere? Yep. The East Cape's a bit special because it's got uh, very high levels of a group of compounds called triketones, which have all these proven health benefits. But the Manuka oil from the rest of the country is also really amazing. It just hasn't had as much scientific research go into it. We, we talk about Kanuka as well in the same word, and some people don't know there's a difference between the two. Yeah, in fact, most Kiwis I speak to think they're the same thing. They look very similar. However, the, the compounds are a lot different. Kanuka oil is a lot lighter. It's got much more what we call monoterpenes, which are a much lighter molecule. Uh, when you use them for massage, they sink deeper into your skin a lot quicker, and there's a lot going on into development of this, where they're looking to use it for stress relief and anxiety. And Personally, myself, uh, most nights I put a few drops in my diffuser, or I put a few drops on my hand and breathe it in, and I'm just out like a light. So. Millennials, diffusers, they've got diffusers. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, if I take a little bottle like that, what do I do with it? And I need to get a diffuser, so sounds just, to me. Um, so. No? You, you just put a few drops in your hand, Yeah. rub it together. That diffuses it? Do that for a few minutes, and please let me know how it goes. Yeah. I mean, they smoke some stuff up where we are, but uh, they haven't discovered Monica, it sounds like. <laughs> Maybe we need to take some of this back. Yeah, All right, buddy. Sure. Now, back to the beard oil. You got my attention with the beard oil. Awesome. I want to know what is the right way 
to do beard oil. A few, a few of these beautiful drops. Yep, so I'm, just start at the bottom and work I'm your way I'm a little out. more modest than you are, so <laughs> to do that, we work here at the bottom, off the sides. Is this your first time using beard oil? Uh, no, I've lost my virginity before. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what I like about this one is that lemon. How do I look? Good? No? Working? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Give the gun back. Listen, buddy, we're going to watch you with keen eyes to see how much of Manuka you can get planted in New Zealand, how many people you can introduce to this great range of products that your people are making here in New Zealand. And we're going to do our job. We're going to try and get as much of it overseas so that people can discover how great it is. Um, and if we can't get it overseas, we're just going to bring them here yeah, to come and meet you great. and meet your folks. And uh, I'm, I'm really stoked, thankful. You know, starting a business off the side of the road. Yeah, thank you. Look, it's early days, but um, we've got a big vision, and um, we'd love to have you along the way. So, Colin, good luck, buddy. Pleasure. Thank Appreciate you it. Much. Thank you.